A lot of people believe that these skills, that you either have them or you don't, or the family should focus on them, with, rather than the idea that you ac actually can do explicit, intentional focus to promote these skills. And not the sense that, you know, you write them in a sentence, or we're gonna have you, you know, uh, you're going to have to practice empathy just once today and we're done with it. Um, it has to be infused in every aspect. The good news is that you can teach SEL skills through activities that incorporate exploring identity, through mask making and sharing, practicing sharing gratitude and expressing feelings, learning how to be empathetic, working with others, setting goals and building group consensus. Our toolkit has a number of activities that target all of the ways of being, so youth can practice their social and emotional skills in your program and throughout their lives. Don't you wish you could just like exercise once and it's done for? <laughs> no more. But like anything, you need to practice, you need to keep on working at it, you need to maintain and go to other levels. And I think it's an interesting one of thinking about social and emotional fitness. It's actually trying to think about how do we frame that. Social and emotional fitness is about also practicing those skills, getting opportunities, but also looking for opportunities to um, develop those.